Time for another question, okay, I think. Okay, this you one. go for it. Okay, my turn. <laughs> Okay, a large number of students don't take notes anymore. Mm. Why do you think this is? Why do you think this is? And why should they take notes? Okay, sorry, the word was Okay, so it, I'd agree that a lot of, of students don't take notes. I think one of the reasons is because we make everything available to them yeah. in digital kind of form. Um, so you know they already have access to slides. Um, you know they have access to notes afterwards. Yeah. I think really it's a great idea to take notes because taking notes in my head is not taking notes, it's making notes. It's yeah. kind of you look, reading, listening and really kind of interpreting, understanding what the lecture is saying, making sense of it in your own head and then putting it down in your own words. Yeah. So I know if it were me and I went to a class and I just listened to the lecture for the whole hour and didn't write down anything, I'd just forget that. Maybe that's just age, but I'd forget everything that was said. But yeah. If I start listening and trying to kind of play it back in my head and think, okay, now I made sense of that and write it down, I have a record of everything. I can write in notes thinking, don't understand and highlight it, come back to this, you know, so it's like it, it's like having my own set of Gina notes as opposed to just having other notes. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you if you take, I do know from your work that you take a lot. <laughs> I take a lot of notes and then I take notes of my notes. Yeah, and then idea. depending on the subject, I take notes of those. So I'm a bit, um, but that wasn't something I did from the start. Okay. Um, it's something like. Do you wish you had? It's, yeah, but it's not something I knew because mm. um, I came in and, you know, yes, there is resources in, in yeah. the library, but. For me, it was a bit intimidating yeah. because I was older, I was kind of, that was just my yeah. own personal issue but, and as well it could be the same for first, so it was something that took me a while to figure out when I was kind of the end of last year and this year. Mm. Like our, in my in my course, the accounting degree, our lecturer gives us really detailed notes, mm, and really okay. good notes, so any notes I do take is kind of my own abbreviation of yeah. the notes to kind of help me kind of get that into my head. It depends on the person. Some people mm. may not need to take notes. Mm. You know, they might be the sponges that we all wish yeah, we, we were. were. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wouldn't look at what somebody else is doing. Okay, I would yeah. do what works yeah, for you. Yeah. If you feel you need to take notes, take notes. Like mm. I have one subject that is theory based. It's 99% theory. And our lecture gives us fantastic notes that's mm. taken from the book and yeah. kind of narrowed down. And I'm taking little teeny tiny notes on that yeah. as well. So just to make sense of it. Yeah, yeah to kind of, really, yeah. you know, so it's, again, don't compare yourself to what others do because everybody studies differently. Yeah. Everybody processes information completely different. So how you would study would yes. be completely different than how yeah. I study. So maybe it's just kind of learning what works for you. Yeah. 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 So again, if you see somebody not taking notes, that's yeah. as well that's on them yeah you know um but do what works for you if you mm. feel you need to take notes take notes mm. do you know what i found really helpful like when you go into an exam you have to write yeah. for most exams you have to write so if you're not used to, to writing write, yeah. like i found it you know my i have the mark on my finger so yeah much. yeah so just even taking notes yeah. actually gets you used to holding a pen yeah. and writing yeah. and reading your own writing and yeah. writing I, quickly i know a lot of people take notes on the laptop yeah I would recommend writing it down because one of the kind of things that works for me study wise is like one reading it out um, and then reading it in my head. So reading it in my head, reading it mm. out loud, writing it down. Yeah. And then writing it down again from memory. Yeah. Brilliant. So I'm I, that really works for me. So like pen to paper does yeah. help you kind of get the information in a bit more does, than reading it yeah. off the screen. Because you're I doing something as, you're doing as well. It. It's yeah, an action yeah. as yeah. well, so it kind of sticks in a bit more. So I would recommend taking notes in that sense because you're, you're doing an action while kind of taking in the information and your brain will keep yeah. it a bit more. So again, that works for me. It could yeah. be completely different for somebody else, but mm. it's kind of... And again, going into an exam, if you yeah. have a theory-based... You'd be subject. Writing. You're you're writing yeah. for the three full three hours. So you need to get. Hand. You need to practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're stretching your hand. Like I know them. some of my subjects are kind of a lot of it is figures, but mm. there is a bit Terry in it. So mm. you can you do your hand is be sore afterwards. Yeah. No, it's important as you said to find what best suits you. Yeah. But maybe if you feel I need to be active in class yeah. and yeah. you know I said writing down things that you don't understand, would you do that? Like you know write down yeah. and say so I don't understand or need my subject earlier he had mentioned something, 
and he'd referenced it a couple of weeks ago and yeah. I just wrote on the top what it was to mm. go back. Yeah. So we use it as a reference to review for yourself. A connection yeah, in another brilliant. topic so that yeah. I can link to two. Yeah. So I would use that and like to kind of reference other subjects yeah. to kind of tie stuff in. Because yeah. two of my subjects are overlapping at the minute. Yeah, okay. So they're completely different topics, yeah, yeah. but there's actually an overlap. So I'm writing on one subject, but it isn't the other, so mm. I can kind of That's link nice the two idea. together. Yeah. So it's really good in that aspect yeah. as well. And would you file away all your notes? Like, you know, well, I've seen your folder. You do file away. <laughs> I have, like, a, you know, one of those pockets. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah, large the clear pocket, envelopes, yeah. and I have the notes in it, and then I have my workbook. So each. Each subject has its own notebook. Brilliant. Yeah. And then once I'm finished with a topic, I put it in my large folder yeah, when okay. I've done all the yeah. questions and exam questions. Yeah. And when would you do that? Because I remember when I was in college, I just took my Friday afternoons to just organise my notes because I always felt once they were organised, then I could start. When I finish, when did we move on to a topic yeah. or sub topic, I'll whatever questions I've done on that, I'll put it away. Yeah. And I'll. Mark it yeah. and put like sticky notes everywhere. Yeah, this is what it is, and yeah. like little tabs and everything. Yeah, like you have to be organised. Yeah, you really have to be organised, and you have to be very, very clear. Yeah, on what topics are and subtopics are within it, so that you can always go back and quickly reference. Yeah, because if agree. you're not organised at all, it's mm. chaos. Yeah, and you just need to find a plan. I remember, like in college myself, every lecture I would start off just write the name, the top right hand corner, and the date. Yeah. And then just start numbering the date, date, date and date. number the pages. Yeah. Just go page I don't, I don't number two. the pages. Oh, I did. No, I, just, I put the date on because yeah. then it does help me reference back yeah. kind of, to kind of go. Yeah. But you have to be so organised. Yeah. And notes does help you get organised. Yeah, I think they do. It's yeah. it's like file management, isn't yeah. it, really? You're kind it of is, working yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. And then I suppose you can go back over the notes, kind of highlight, as you say, make notes of notes. Or even reference what you've taken against what the yeah. lecturer has put up. So you might have taken in something, uh, taken down something in class, and then look at the lectures note and go, and oh, well, that's difference. not on the lectures note, yeah. but they they're together. So yeah. then you can do kind of a bit more notes mm. with everything in it and reference them that back to a question. Yeah. So. And it's a very personal thing, isn't it? I remember. Yeah, it is to everybody. Yeah. I, I wouldn't go to maybe in college, and I'd say oh, I'll get somebody else's notes, but they never made sense no. to me because no. they're somebody else's notes. So yeah. you nearly have to be there. Don't like you? you could look at somebody else's notes and get kind of snippets. Yeah. Of them, but they are very personal yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you you write down a level of detail in your own, what you're thinking and what you're thinking and your thought well. process. Yeah. yeah. You know, so so it's you on a page. <laughs> it is. It yeah. is essentially like yeah. if you're stuck in something. Well, when I'm stuck in something, I write down why I'm stuck or yeah. what I'm not getting. So it's my mm. thought process, so that when I do get it, I can go back and go, mm. oh right, that's what I was thinking of, and then kind of yeah process it out. Kind of. Yeah, that's really good. What would you do if you kind of fell out of the pattern of doing that? So say a week goes by and you're not doing it, or you know you've other things on. You just kind of, you know, force yourself to get back into the pattern of being organised. I have to. Yeah. I really have mm. to because I've so much going on in my life. Yeah. It's it's not something I can yeah. allow to happen, which it did happen a couple of weeks ago, as you know. Yeah. Um. So, I would st I stayed here till nine o'clock one night. Yeah, and just and get then back the on following top night. I stayed up till eleven to mm. kind of just make sure everything was back yeah. on top because again it's it's not a luxury I have to be able to yeah. go oh I'll go back to it next week yeah because the weeks go by really quick they really do yeah. and there's so much again yeah. there's so much going on in my life yeah. outside college it's it's yeah. it's something I need to keep yeah. on top of so I suppose like advice for anyone listening it's kind of you know even if you do kind of not kind of take notes or do things properly for one week just get back into yeah. it again yeah. the next Designate week day. yeah yeah just to sort it all out. To sort it all yeah, out and just get everything, I'll get all your ducks back in yeah, the row kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. If you, if you kind of, like, you know, like life happens, people yeah, are sick. absolutely. You can't come in for something. Yeah. It's going to happen throughout yeah. the year. It will happen. But yeah. when you're back to yourself and don't everything's stress, okay, just don't stress. Yeah. Just get on top of everything yeah. again and prioritise it yeah. for two or three days. Yeah. You know, oh if your friends are like, oh, let's go out and, you know, yeah. kind of, I would prioritise it because it's only two days. Really. Yeah. You can go out drinking the night Absolutely. after. <laughs> or not at all. Or not. <laughs>